Peres, welcome back to another Bright Session training lesson. To understand what the market is doing, I must identify the structure and locate the key entry point. My main key entry point, the downtrend, had a break, correction phase ended, move to new extreme happened, and right now the trend line will play out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pay attention because I expect correction or reversal. Now eventually, there can be downtrend continuation, but I would need to see rejections of the EMA. If we're gonna break higher and we're gonna push above EMA, then I'm gonna treat this as a correction. Let's see what's gonna happen. And I can see that the EMA keeps rejecting and market keeps trending to the downside. Now, I don't really want to sell just yet because we just had a break and a new extreme. So just because market is not reversing instantly, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be selling at the very bottom of the move. We're very close to low today. So I'm just gonna be a little bit more patient. And because market continues to trade lower like this, this is where I was thinking about potential another channel because why do we continue to trade lower after there's a break and a new extreme? So what I'm gonna do, this is the channel I was looking for. I'm just gonna look for kind of like a micro spike and a channel. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to be close. However, you can see there is no room to get out before reaching these lows, the low of the day. So I'm being extra careful when it comes to selling. I would like to sell high but for the most part, this is congestion. There is no real setup. So I'm just gonna be very patient. You can see 20 bars stacked right next to each other. You have a first entry short. I don't even like taking anything. I was possibly thinking about taking second entry short, but it still formed above EMA and it was just way too congested. EMA exactly in all these bars. So this is a very risky setup. So I'm just gonna be waiting patiently. This is too much of a congestion. I cannot trade, no trade zone like this. We had a break and market created new extreme. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna mark my break in extreme and the overall structure of the market is still way too bearish. Now, not easy structure to trade because there is no good bigger pattern that would allow me to trust the structure just yet, so much empty room. So what I'm trying to do is just trying to follow the short and tight channels, not really selling directly into these lows, but at the same time, I'm not really looking to pick a bottom. So this is just the time where I need to be patient and let price action to unfold. I'm not looking for setups unless everything aligns. Now market continues working lower again. So right now what I'm going to do, I can see EMA flattening continues. And by the way, this is where we had news announcement. We have a spike in volatility. But because I can see flat EMA, consistent price things up, down, up, down, up, down. This is starting to indicate a certain part of market cycle. What part? A train range, consolidation. Flat EMA. So I'm gonna mark my trend range. I always want to know where the key levels are because they may come into play. You can see we trade it down, break new extreme, residual of bearish momentum, and right now we have sideways structure. So I'm trying to put the pieces of the price action together. Definitely we traded down. This was still overwhelmingly bearish bias. So I'm more leaning towards short setups instead of long setups. Let's see what's gonna happen. So what I have to do, I'm just gonna follow the short term channels like this. I'm gonna plot the short term channel. We need to get new high. Market keeps trending to the upside. This is the first leg up break. And market likes to move in pairs of two so I can measure the measured lag. And market created perfect measured move. We have a new low. First attempt to sell, pull back, second attempt to sell. And right now, at the start, I applied trend line rule to the downside. I was trading a bearish trend. But because EMA flattened, consistent price swings up and down, I need to apply brand new rules trend range rules, which means buy low, sell high. And because the measured move played out, market moves in pairs of two, so you wanna train your eyes to look for these two like a pullbacks. You're combining break and new extreme of the uptrend. You're combining the trend range rule. We're far away from the EMA, so we expect for price session to pull back. And this is a second entry short and also fell breakout. Great first high priority setup for the day. Second entry short alongside with the fell breakout. We are very far from the EMA, so this is a good sign that there's going to be at least some form of a pullback. You can use the measured move to know that the bearish momentum depleted alongside with the trend line. Nothing happens random in price action. You just need to be a little bit more careful for price action to unfold everything so it is easier for you to navigate and locate the high priority setups. There was no confirmation setup low or high or for second entry long. I'm going to redraw a brand new downtrend working lower. The whole time I was looking for second entry short at the EMA, but we're not even correcting to the EMA instead market continues to go lower we have a break a new extreme however i'm not thinking about buying we established that we keep trending lower consistently throughout the day 
So we traded down into trend range. So I'm not really thinking about buying thing the breakout, even though it may work, it's not really worth it. Price action keeps working higher. I'm gonna connect these swings at the bottom here. I'm gonna copy it, put it at the top. And notice what is happening. Price action is breaking below EMA. We have a new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. I cannot take second entry short, especially when the wider channel fits fairly well. Okay, you can make a case for drawing a channel here, but you don't really notice at the time we're following price session as if it would happen live. So when I was watching this live today, I draw it a little bit wider. I cannot take a second entry short just yet, but it gives me important piece of information. This key level acted as a breakout pullback pattern. And if we're gonna stay below EMA and get a lower high confirmation setup for the second entry short, or for the second entry long below EMA, I can resume looking to sell. Okay, we traded down into train range, consolidation, we broke lower, most breakouts fell, but because there was a bearish bias, I'm not thinking about buying, instead letting price session do its thing, breakout pullback. So right now, we have a lower high confirmation setup of the second entry short, the key level held, transform into resistance, and this is great signal bar, tier one signal bar, lower high confirmation setup of the second entry short. At this point, you're not worried about getting new high for this channel because we transform into breakout pullback. Now we have a failed second entry long and not the setup that we expected, but problem is you already form micro double bottom. So I would be selling at the very bottom of the move, even though it worked. Remember, that's not what we do here. We're not just going back for fun and marking setups that work. We try to understand how price action works. We're locating the right places on the chart to enter, how to find these setups. And even though it worked in hindsight, I can't really take it because when you're watching this live, you need to trust your setup, trust your analysis, and setups like these are just way too aggressive because you're selling at the very bottom of the move. So because we continue to work lower, even after breakout pullback, I was asking myself, why do we continuously continue to work lower? And if I'm gonna connect the first two swings at the top, and I'm gonna connect it with the third swing here, I can see we have a large downtrend working lower. Now this downtrend, is not my favorite because we have so much empty room here. We prefer to have consistent series of lower highs and low lows. Move down, move up, move down, move up, move down, move up, and not just one big move down, little correction, second big move down, but this is the best channel I get. It helps me not to be looking to go long just yet. I'm gonna be thinking about possible long setup. Apart from the EMA only first entry short. Okay, second entry short above EMA I cannot take. We're going two sideways. We're above EMA, I can really go short. Price action keeps trending to the upside. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redraw brand new uptrend. Uptrend is in play, so I cannot go short just yet because this channel needs to get new high. So what I'm thinking about is this channel getting a new extreme. So I know that the bulls played out and then I'm gonna be resuming the bearish momentum looking for new low for this main downtrend. So see what's gonna happen. I cannot sell just yet. This upturn may get new extreme. I can even draw potentially a wider channel like this because I have many swings here at the bottom. It is a little bit too broad, but I might draw it just to make sure this is also a possibility. You can see market created a break new high for the initial tight channel. So what I was thinking right now, I was looking for a failed second entry long new high for a central long pullback second entry long failure. I'm thinking because the uptrend played out, the bulls might be trapped and we traded down, the overall bias for this market is still bearish. So I'm just trying to make sure I time the entry properly. I'm trying to identify the end of the correction. You can see break, new extreme, two legged pullback, end of the correction. Two legged pullback here, key entry point, end of the correction. Key entry point here, move up, break new high, around key entry point. So we expect correction phase to end and a brand new push phase to begin. I identified the main bias, so let's see if we can get a felt second entry long. And we cannot, we pushed above EMA, so I need to respect the timing, nothing I can do, it is part of trading, market is just consolidating a little bit more. And now we have a felt second entry long, but this time, even though it makes sense context-wise, I'm dead center in the middle of this congestion, so, you know, very tempting setup, tier 1 signal bar, a lot of bulls are going to be trapped, because I've trampled a bit to break new high, you're going sideways, and we expect for price action to go lower. Problem is it is right in the middle of congestion and I just cannot sell setup in congestion like this. So I was thinking about possible lower high breakout pullback, can we get it? 
we cannot. So once there is no pullback to test the breakout pullback area, the next time I'm expecting is what? It's gonna be second entry short at the EMA. So I'm gonna redraw the short uptrend. First entry short, pullback, second entry short. Why am I thinking about second entry short? It's simple. This downtrend needs to get new low. The bigger downtrend needs to get new low as well. New low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. But this right here is an inside bar. A little bit congested, one, two, three, four, five bars stacked. EMA in all these bars. You can see the context is great. Breakout, pullback, very similar to what we had here. Once again, everything in price action happens for a reason. Price session broke lower, minor overshoot can generate strong momentum, breakout, pullback, this support is transforming into resistance, mini uptrend played out with the break new high, this is a second entry short, we expect price session to go lower, because we combine it with the overall bias, so everything in price session makes sense context wise, but the setup itself, the single bar, it is just way too aggressive, inside bar congestion, you know, if you took it, I can see why, just not the cleanest setup here, so you want to see a lower high confirmation setup, when something is wrong with the second entry, I like to see a lower high. Can we get a lower high? We have a lower high here. I was ready to take it, but at the last second, the bearish body reversed up and it turned into doji, so I skipped it. But I was supposed to take a risk here. It's not a bad setup because the context is so strong here. It's a lower high confirmation setup of the second entry short. I'm gonna mark it. The single bar is not that great, a little bit neutral, but two downtrends needs to get new extreme. Decent setup. Market created a break, new extreme. And right now market reversing to the upside. So what I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna mark the break in a new extreme. Now I'm not gonna argue with the market. We're not getting the new low for the main channel, that's okay. I can see EMA flattening and we have move up, move down, move up, move down, move up. So we are entering some form of a consolidation, some form of trend range. So once again, I'm gonna draw the trend range key level. So far I'm gonna draw something like this. I'm gonna put it at the top. And I'm going to be following short term channels. I'm going to redraw a brand new uptrend like this. I'm not thinking about selling this move, it was way too steep. We need to get new high for this uptrend. And the market created new extreme. So I'm going to mark my new high. This move clearly resembles visual first leg up, break, second leg up. Once again, train your eyes to spot these two legged moves. When something resembles two legged pullback, trust it bullish depletion we had a trend range structure so according to range rules what's going to happen most breakouts will fail especially if we trade it down into it so right now i'm thinking about breakout failing into this trend range i just need to time the entry properly can we get some setup below ema okay i'm gonna i'm gonna redraw the down to working lower i can draw it wider because i'm expecting price action to pull back into trend range breakout to fail minor overshoot we have a new low, or a century short. Now you don't really want to treat this as lower high, we have a new high, kind of like a first entry long pullback, second entry long failure. Remember, the confirmation setup of this failed second entry long was supposed to form somewhere around here. By the time it pushed so far down, it is detached from the failed second entry long, and it's not really acting as lower high confirmation setup. It's more of a first entry short, new low, first entry short, especially after micro overshoot. So just something to think about, you want to see the lower high, right after the first second entry long not this far down it basically acts as a first entry short i was thinking about going short here but it never triggered why am i thinking about selling because this is a second entry short the downtrend is in play uptrend played out with the break new extreme you can see the correction needed to get new high everything in price session happens for a reason so you break new high once again two legged pullback we have a second entry short visual one but you would have to use double bar entry and sadly the follow-up bar is not that bearish. Had it been more bearish, you could have used double bar entry, meaning you cannot sell below bull bar. You wait for the follow-up bar, and if this bearish bar gets a trigger below, you can drop your limit order, so you can decrease the risk. The stop loss always goes one tick above the initial bar. Two leg pullback, uptrend played out, the downtrend is new low. There was a break, new extreme, and this is where the news came out, so we're gonna be a little bit patient. Okay, I'm gonna redraw the short-term downtrend. Now news can a lot of times make the price action spiky and more volatile, which is exactly what is happening now. You can see we are exactly in the middle of the train range. So right now what I'm doing, not much. I'm just laid back watching price action develop because I know I'm not interested in taking setup in the middle of this mess. Because you can make a case for going long and short at the same time. 
I want to see clear established trend. And if there is no clear established trend, I want to be buying low, selling high. Once we're in the middle of a trend range like this, I'm not even looking for setups. I'm not even thinking about setups because it is easy for your mind to lure you in taking a setup like this to manufacture story because the signal bars look good, but you have no context or key entry point to support your analysis. So don't give in to your emotions. Sometimes it happens, signal bar looks so juicy and you're kind of guessing a little bit, you're gambling and you're thinking, okay, the gamble's gonna work. Remember, when you have a losing trade and it's a good setup, it's very easy to get over that setup. But once you have a losing trade and you just made an error, you just jumped the gun, you just took a gamble, these trades sting a lot. So don't really get frustrated, be patient and follow the rules. So what I'm gonna do, because we broke higher so strongly, I'm gonna redraw a brand new uptrend. Because right now we have series of high lows. We finally established the uptrend. This is what I was looking for. I'm gonna draw it a little bit steeper like this. At first I drew it wider, but because we broke below EMA, okay, there's probably overshoot, a little bit stronger bearish momentum. Either way, let's see what's gonna happen. I was thinking about high low confirmation setup because the uptrend needs to get retested according to trend line rule. We have a second entry long below EMA, of course I cannot take. The big leg down is working, we had overshoot. And you can see the key level is acting as a support. We're pushing above EMA, down trend played up with the break new low, and this is good. Can we get high low confirmation setup? And we have high low confirmation setup. It's not textbook because this high is the highest, but you can sort of reset the count here, mini double top, first entry long, second entry long, and treat as a high low confirmation setup of the second entry long. Up to this new high, downtrend played out, key level is coming into play, and this is decent high probability setup, high low confirmation setup. It's a little bit stacked, so it's a little bit more advanced, definitely, but you can see there is room between the candles in this consolidation, which gives this more of a strength for the bulls. Breakout, pullback, and remember, this was a quite a decent trend range, so I'm not looking to go long just yet because we're bouncing at the support. I want to see the support holding by push above EMA and another setup above EMA, okay? Because I don't want to just jump the gun too quickly and then get trapped on a felt second too long. This is why I'm not going long here even though it worked. I want to see the push above EMA to truly confirm the buyers are stepping into the market here and this is the confirmation setup. Market almost created new extreme. There was the attempt and big train range is starting to kick in. I'm going to redraw the down to working lower. There's a horrible bar to use for felt second entry long, but I'm going to redraw a brand new downtrend. I'm thinking about second entry short at the EMA because we're pulling back into train range, following the trend line rule. Can we get a second entry short at the EMA? And we cannot, the market just continued working lower break. New extreme indicating downtrend played out, and now it's just getting way too late. We had as you can see, new low, first entry or second entry short, which you cannot take, but more importantly, we had a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. This is a felt second entry long, but it is just way too late, and you can see market is about to close. So there were a few decent setups today. Overall structure looks like this. Bearish bias. If the trend down is so strong, just lean towards bearish setups more. Don't try to look for early bullish setups. Always remember that our goal is to wait for everything to align. So when I see price action just chopping without significant key entry point, I'm not even thinking about setup. Okay, we are trading like a predator. We're waiting for the prey come to us. Okay, you wait for setup to come to you, to your key entry point. Don't get lured in based on momentum and good signal bar. Remember, you should expect the setup beforehand. Good setup shouldn't surprise you. If you find yourself wandering through the market, where is the key entry point? What is the bias and suddenly you get lured in taking a good signal bar just because it is good signal bar that is not appropriate way how to trade you need to make sure you understand the bias key entry point and you should expect what kind of setup should form and then you just analyze the setup closer the signal bar or congestion so hopefully that makes sense and gives you a little bit of confidence that you don't really need to be over analyzing every single candle once you see congestion or indecision just wait for price session to develop it is completely okay as you can see there's a lot of bars on the chart you will not miss anything. Eventually, there's going to be a few good setups. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.